Good morning, everyone. I have a sweatshirt that I wear every time I go to the gym. I bought it over 30 years ago. At the time, I thought it was very expensive. But as we say in this part of the world, it hasn't cost me anything. It was navy blue, but now all the colour has been washed out of it. Parts of the material are so worn, you can actually see through them. Adrian has been pleading with me for years to bin it. She has even offered to buy me a new one. But I find that I can't part with it. There's something reassuring in wearing this familiar garment. I suppose that's part of the reason why change is so difficult in our lives. It takes us places with which we are not familiar. It pushes us out of our comfort zone. And we find that very scary indeed. Better to stay with what we know. The only problem with that outlook is that we get ourselves into a rut. We may be even happy in our rut. But as one man has pointed out, the only difference between a rut and the grave is the depth of the ground. At one point in history, God's people had got themselves into a rut. They had been taken into exile in Babylon. When they first arrived there, all they could think about was going home. But as the years passed, they settled down and all thoughts of home were forgotten. God had to shake them out of their rut. He told them, see, I am doing a new thing among you. It springs up. Don't you perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. God is not content to leave us in our rut. That's why following Jesus can at times be a very uncomfortable experience. He's always pushing us to grow and develop. He wants to lead us into new things. And often the way that he shakes us up is through the experiences of everyday life. This period of lockdown has been very challenging for many people. It has stretched us in all kinds of ways, physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, financially. Often we just want things to go back to the way they were. But perhaps this is God's way of pushing us out of our rut. He wants to do a new thing in our lives. Maybe for you, that new thing is to make that surrender of your life to Jesus. But it's frightening. You don't know what's involved. You don't know where it will lead. But God wants to lead you into something bigger and better. Maybe you are a Christian, but God is challenging you to step out in your faith in a new way. And you're frightened about it. You, you don't know if you're up to it. 
but he's wanting to lead you into something new. Don't be content to stay in your what. Step forward, trusting in Jesus. And allow him to lead you into something new. Although I have to confess to you, I'm still not sure that I want to part with my sweet.